$200,000 a study, why political candidates make vague statements. The answer was a little vague. We don't know. $175 million for the Department of Veterans Affairs to maintain a monkey house in Ohio. We love Ohio. Do we love monkey houses? Sixty grand for Vidalia Onion promotion for the movie Shrek. What? Senator Tom Coburn says he's not making this up. He's a doctor and a Republican on the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pension. How you doing, Senator? I Good morning. How I, are I'm you all? Merry the, Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas <laughs> to you as well, San. I, I, I mean, some of this stuff is laughable. But, but what you find is that Washington doesn't ever do anything on the cheap. I heard they printed that omnibus bill a week ago, and it was $70,000 just for the paper. Bill, I think the problem is, is there's just no common sense and no judgment in our government so big, and we allow people to make decisions that are just clueless as to the situation we find ourselves in, number one, economically, and number two is what, what passes uh, the laugh test. And, and it's, this, this report, although interesting, is really uh, very, very sad for our country that we've known we've been in trouble for two years and yet we continue to see as Americans struggle to try to <clears throat> make their ends meet, sometimes doing without necessities, we have a government that uh, just, and look, we just picked a hundred. I can give you a hundred thousand uh, uh, of items that where we show poor judgment or spending money that we shouldn't be spending. You, you give a hundred thousand. we're borrowing it from our... Yeah, here's one. National Science Foundation, quarter million dollars to Stanford, <clears throat> study how Americans use the internet to find love. Uh, National Institutes of Health, 442,000, uh, sorry, 442 million dollars to study the number of male prostitutes in Vietnam and their social setting. Uh, Department of Agriculture, University of New Hampshire, $700,000 investigating methane gas emissions from dairy cows. Yeah, cow I mean, births. Uh, so, some of this <laughs> might be important ultimately to science, but is it, is it the job of government? Uh, I, I think the bigger point you're trying to make here is that in the years that you have been in Congress, you have yet to see a president take on Congress when it comes to spending. Will this White well, House change that? Well, I don't know. I certainly couldn't get President Bush to do it, and we haven't seen it. But, it, but it's not just, look, the, the, the president can't solve this problem. Only American people can solve it. <clears throat> That's why we publish it. Uh, it, it. Anybody that is supporting any of this stuff for any reason, at a time when we're in the critical and very urgent need to get our house in order and we're going to have to make significant cuts in everything we do, <clears throat> you can deny that, but we're going to be doing it because we're either going to do it on our own or we're going to be forced to do it by the international financial community. For us to allow this kind of stuff to continue to go on so it talks more about the competence of the members of Congress than it does anything. Well, you, and so, you are quickly gaining the nickname of Dr. No. I, I think you would probably take that in a, in a flattering way, especially after the list went out here. And again, it's a hundred things here, not a hundred thousand, but you say you could list a hundred thousand. There's an also ongoing debate about seven billion dollars worth right now uh, that would go to support 9-11 responders. These are firefighters and police officers and people who went down on the pile. Uh, to date, I believe you're going to try and block that or at least vote against it. Uh, now, we're well, going to have a Democratic senator from New York come on here in a moment, but I just want to understand why, Senator. Well, let me give you some questions for him. Uh, one is, is what happened to the money that's already been go up there? W they can't give us any accounting, any significant accounting for whether or not we spend it effectively. Number two is, I want to spend whatever we need to spend to take care of the people who sacrificed for us and put themselves at risk. This bill hadn't even been through a committee. We haven't had the debate in our committee <clears throat> on this bill to know if it is the best thing to do. We haven't had the testimony to know whether. This is a bill that's been drawn up and forced through Congress at the end of the year on a basis to, to solve a problem that we didn't have time to solve and we didn't get done. So what we're going to do is we're going we're to pass a bill, maybe, doubtful, and then we're going to have to come back and fix it and we're going to waste a whole bunch more money and not fix the real problem, which is taking care of those people who are so desperately dependent on us. Senator, I appreciate so you. The, their, hearts, their hearts are in a good place. Their head's not in a good place. We can do this next year, and we should. Tom Coburn, thank you. Please come back. There's so much more to talk about, okay? Will do. Thank God you, bless Senator. You. And, and to you, a fair and balanced debate. New York Democrat uh, Kirsten Gillibrand is here. She says passing this health care bill, the 9-11 bill, um, 
would be like a Christmas miracle for those who need it. She says she has the votes to do it. We'll get